Hello viewers, today we are going to make another basic sauce which is tomato sauce. For making the tomato sauce, you require tomato puree, chopped onion, chopped carrots, you require some parsley, basil, some garlic, flour, refined flour which is optional, seasoning, you also require some oil. Now to begin with, we take some oil in a saucepan and add the onion to it. We saute the onion on low heat till it's slightly brown in color. You can also add some carrots in case your tomatoes are too sour to get that little sweetness in the tomato sauce. Now once this beer poir is slightly browned, we can add some refined flour to it. Adding refined flour is optional. In case you don't want to add refined flour, you can add some more tomato puree to it. Brown this flour to make a brown roux. We'll also add some garlic, chopped garlic to it. And some celery for that extra flavor. Keep stirring so that the flour does not stick to the bottom and ensure the heat is low. Now the roux is slowly browning, you can see. The mea foil browned nicely, it's not burnt. Now what we'll do is, we'll add the tomato puree to this mea foil. Stir it up. Increase the heat slightly. Now once this comes to a boil, we'll add the white stock to it. We'll also add a bouquet garni, which comprises of bay leaf, peppercorns, parsley stalks and thyme. And we'll also add some basil leaves for extra flavor. We'll bring the sauce to a boil and once it comes to a boil, we'll simmer it for about one to two hours. Now this has come to a boil. Now what we do is we reduce the heat and let it simmer for about one hour, one to two hours and then after that we'll strain it. 
At this point, we'll also add some seasoning to the sauce, salt and white pepper. Now the sauce has been simmering for the last uh, 45 minutes. It's thickening slightly. We'll continue simmering the sauce till it thickens and we get the desired consistency. Now the sauce has been simmering for the last two hours. It has thickened up. Now what we'll do is we'll strain it through a strainer, fine strainer. We'll press it with a spoon. Our tomato sauce is ready. Thank you for watching. I'm sure that after watching this video, you'll be able to make tomato sauce yourself. Have a good day.